Hey folks, hi, welcome. Anthony Nitz, EXP Realty, Rustin and Tustin. Hey, what is happening in the Tustin real estate market today? Let's take a quick look. So if we go here, let's look at the median home sale price in the Tustin area. So the green line is North Tustin, the red line is Tustin Ranch, and the blue line is uh, 92780, City of Tustin, right? So uh, if we're looking at the median home sale price for Tustin, in 92705, we were looking at a million two hundred twenty-two thousand five hundred. We're looking at Tustin Ranch; it's eight seventy-nine nine ninety, and for the city of Tustin is six hundred. Now let's look at the average here as well. So if we take a look at the average, the average on the city of Tustin goes up to seven seventeen, and uh, um, the uh, nine two seven eight two goes up to uh, nine sixty-six eight forty-five but the 92705 area drops a little bit to 1143 So, you know, the difference between the median and, and the average. Um, but let's take a look here. If we go over to month supply, this is very interesting. If we're taking a look at months of supply, what does months of supply mean? What that means is if no new listings came on the market at all, nobody put their house up for sale at all going forward, how many months would it take for us to sell out the entire inventory that we have available? Well, in North Tustin, uh, we're looking at 1.7 months, uh, and that's pretty quick. But if we look at uh, 92780 Tustin, we're looking at one month. One month, we're sold out. If we're looking at Tustin Ranch, we're, we're at 0.7 months. Guys, this explains or demonstrates how little inventory we have in our current marketplace right now and how important it is that you know if you're thinking about selling we need to you know sell your house because <laughs> we've got we need inventory there's lots of buyers who are out there looking uh let's take a look at days on market so if we're looking at the, let's look at the median here and median is six or seven days six or seven days across the board right if we're looking at the average though i like to look at the average on this too because what it demonstrates is it demonstrates, you know, there's there, there's some that take a lot longer to sell and some that take less to sell, right? So not every house is the same. And so, you know, times are going to vary. Uh, but still, even still, we're, we're looking at a maximum of 18 days um, and as little as nine days in Tustin Ranch. Let's take a look at total closed sides or closed sales for uh the areas now this is kind of i would say that i would say that this is you know not bad it's not great as far as volume goes but we're looking at uh between you know 39 and 41 for each of the different zip codes okay and if you see the the, the closings are, are dropping down uh where if we look at uh new listings the new listings are dropping down as well. So again, that inventory thing is getting a little bit shorter, a little bit shorter. Let's take a look at active listings. Active listings in Tustin, we got 36. In Tustin Ranch, we got 25. In North Tustin, we got 70. Guys, the higher the price, the few buyers there are. And so we're gonna we're, we're gonna probably see a little bit more inventory grow on that. And so now are we uh, concerned about any of this stuff uh, uh you know a shift in the marketplace and everything right now according to, to freddie mac we're on the freddie mac website right here you know we're looking at 2.99 for a 30-year fixed rate mortgage you know and there's no real indicators if we look at their chart here you know nothing indicating that we're having any you know spikes or anything like that but you know we just never know what tomorrow is going to bring as far as the marketplace goes so uh, pending sales, uh, again, down, not because there's, you know, not because people are having a hard time selling their houses. It's because there's just not enough houses. That's all. So folks, if you're thinking about selling your house, you know what, uh, ask us about our 1% listing fee. And if you have a fixer upper and you're trying to sell it, don't sell it to a, a, a house flipper. Uh, call us because we can show you how you can get a whole lot more money uh, on your fixer upper when you let us show you how to do it the right way versus just taking that offer from a from a cash uh, buyer i'm going to give you an example client he was about to sign on the dotted line for seven hundred and fifty nine thousand dollars for his uh, um, family members fixer upper uh, we ended up selling it for eight hundred and seventy seven thousand dollars as is in its current condition exactly what it was made him a whole lot more money 
uh, on the back end when they sold with us. So uh, give us a call, ask, happy to help out. Guys, thanks for watching. And if you got any questions, you want me to do a little analysis for your specific neighborhood. Maybe you live in, um, you know, whatever, Tustin Meadows. Maybe you live in Panorama Heights. Maybe you live in, uh, you know, the presidential uh, tract. Maybe you live in, um, you know, Park Tustin, Tree Haven. Uh, you know, pick any neighborhood. It, whatever your neighborhood is, if you would like to get updates on exactly what's happening in that neighborhood, automatically sent to you no spam no nothing like that it's just as something is listed or as something is sold it automatically goes to you and i'm not talking about zillow information that's you know we know is uh, um, not very accurate uh and outdated sometimes this is direct from the multiple listing services if you would like that let me know send me a message or call me and i'll be happy to set that up for you it only takes a second so we'll talk to you soon have a great day take care